I've been asked this question so many times by clients. Most people are confused about it and most people pick the wrong option for their needs. I'm Steve Corey and I'm going to explain the difference between Teams sites and Team sites. Stay until the end where I also show the comparison to communication sites. The way I usually explain it, one is a team site while the other is a Teams site. A team site is probably what you're most familiar with in SharePoint, especially from the on-premise days. A team site is a standalone SharePoint site that has all the bells and whistles of normal SharePoint sites. A team site is the type of site you've always created in SharePoint, letting you leverage all the features you're used to. You don't have the automatically created things like group email, a team in Microsoft Teams, and the other bloat that accompanies an M365 group. A team site is one of the default site templates you use for building standalone SharePoint sites. The other common one in SharePoint Online is a communication site. Both are standalone, but communication sites have a few extra features. More on that later. You might have been creating Teams sites instead of Team sites because the option to create Team sites is a little hidden. Here's where to find it. First, we're going to go to the SharePoint Admin Center with this URL. Then under sites, we're going to go to active sites and we're going to create a new site and you'll see the two options it gives you a team site and a communication site. But this team site is a Microsoft Teams site. So this will create the Microsoft 365 group. It'll create the team and Microsoft Teams, the group email address, everything. If you want a SharePoint team site, you have to go to other options down here. Now this option also says to create a team site, but here you'll see that this does not create a Microsoft 365 group. So creating a team site on this screen is creating a normal team site and not a Microsoft Teams site. If you're getting value from this video, please click that like button. So that covers a SharePoint team site, but let's talk about Teams sites. A Teams site is a special site associated with an M365 group and a team in Microsoft Teams. This kind of site is used as the backend storage for the Microsoft Teams team, so that when you store a file in Teams, it gets stored on a SharePoint site in the backend. But it also has most of the features of a standalone SharePoint site. A team site also typically has a group email address and a group calendar. There are key differences in Teams sites and Team sites, and the biggest is how security is managed. In a Team site, you manage it like any other SharePoint site, but in a Teams site, it's all controlled by the M365 group. If your SharePoint site has security requirements beyond the standard Owners, Members, Visitors convention, you need a standalone team site or a communication site. For example, if you need custom SharePoint groups, which will have access to specific lists or libraries, you've exceeded what a Teams site can really do. A Teams site won't let you create custom groups to implement complex security, but it does still let you break inheritance on your permissions and restrict access to specific lists and libraries. A Teams site security is coupled to your M365 group, which is created as either a public or a private group. A private group requires users to be a member of your M365 group to gain access to the site. But a public group allows anyone to access your SharePoint site without being a member of that M365 group or your Microsoft team. So which do you use? Here's my rule of thumb. If you need a workspace for a team with chat, files, calendaring, very simple security permissions, and no custom code or third-party applications, then go with a Teams site. But if you need a site that's got complex security needs, it has or may have custom code or third-party applications added to it, or if you have multiple teams that need access, then go with either a team site or a communication site. Which one you choose depends on how you want it to look. If you like the left-hand navigation on the page, then go with a team site. If you want it to look more modern and appear more like a web page, go with a communication site that doesn't have the left-hand navigation. There's also intranets and hubs to think of too. 
If you need a site to be part of an intranet, immediately think communication site. That way you don't have the left hand navigation. Communication sites also have additional features like hub site support. If you're building an intranet, use communication sites. I hope this has helped you better understand the different site types and when to choose one over the other. If you like this video, please click that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.